How to Get on Base in Kickball by Brett Burkholder. Hey guys, Brett Burkholder here with a few suggestions on how to get on base in kickball. And I won't be reading every single detail for you, but I will give you a moment to scan before we move on. How does that sound? Okay, just a little about kickball before we start. So let's get started. Some simple suggestions for getting on base. First suggestion. Never kick the first pitch. So even if the pitcher rolls the first one right down the middle, it's best just to let it roll by. And I'll explain why. So the main reason you let the first pitch go by is to do some assessing. You should be assessing the pitcher's release pattern, the type of spin, the speed of the pitch, and how bouncy it is. Next suggestion. Pay attention to what the pitcher is doing after he pitches. Third suggestion. Don't kick it or bun it right back to the pitcher. That is usually a sure out. Next suggestion. Bunting is a good way to get on base if executed effectively. Bunts have two main components, placement and touch. Remember, good bunts often have both, placement and touch. This is also where paying attention to what the pitcher is doing after he pitches the ball will prove quite useful. Fourth kicking suggestion. Never lean back when kicking. That is almost always a sure out. When you lean back, you tend to kick the ball up in the air, and 90% of the teams are going to catch it. How are you doing so far? Are you still with me? I have a couple more for you. Next to last suggestion. Try to kick the ball on the ground, or close to it. By kicking the ball on the ground, it makes the other team have to field it and throw you out. It also gives your teammates who are already on base a reasonable chance to advance. Last suggestion. Drive the ball forward by keeping your chest out over the ball, your toe pointed down, and your head down as you are kicking. This is one of the most important parts, but the most difficult to execute. It involves two main steps. In order to drive the ball, you need to kick the ball at the bottom of its bounce, or closest to the ground, so that it doesn't fly up on you. And step two, you need to keep your chest forward and your toe pointed down, so that you can produce more of a liner or a dipper. Notice how in all the pictures of good form, their momentum is carrying them forward, they are in good balance, and the ball is near the bottom of its bounce. Notice how all the pictures of bad form, they have their weight leaning back, their toe pointed up, and the ball is taking off on them. So that brings us near the end of the presentation. Here's a quick review. Number one, never kick the first pitch. Get a good look at a couple of pitches. Number two, Pay attention to what the pitcher is doing after he pitches, and try to kick or bunt accordingly, so you don't kick or bunt it right back to him. Number three, bunting can be a good way to get on base if executed with good placement and touch. Number four, never lean back while kicking. You will tend to kick the ball up and make for sure outs. Number five, keep your chest over the ball, your toe down, and your head down, and try to drive the ball forward. This enables you to kick it lower to the ground and have a more reasonable chance of getting on base. Okay guys, that's it. Good luck kicking out there. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Feel free to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Look for more videos and tutorials to come.